how are we doing i'm engrossed in my father's book it is so interesting like hearing the stories of him and the biafra war the interesting thing is i've heard some of the stories before but actually like there's more detail in here and there's also some tea i never knew so if your parents have never written an autobiography or told you the story of their life make the effort to actually get them to write it even though i played no role in this my brothers were the ones who encouraged him to do this as he noted in in the intro prologue <sighs> sorry i'm still tired but we had to wake up early because day two event continues today and my friend Precious is coming in. Wow, the contrast between that me and this me. It's crazy. Anyways, my friend Precious is coming in from Lagos. So I needed to be up early to make sure that I arranged like the driver and everything she needs to be able to get here. Sure. So what was I trying to say? Yes, encourage your parents to write their autobiography because there's so much value in it. And even I am encouraged to start noting down my autobiography, which journaling already kind of does for me, especially me that doesn't have memories. Like, I don't even know what I'll write if I'm writing about primary school and secondary school because those years are a blur. <laughs> Obviously, mine are some highlights but primary school is completely a blur sometimes i even run into people i went to primary school with and i'm like i'm sorry i don't know that man <laughs> or woman <laughs> yeah i repressed my childhood memories i don't know why maybe i need to see a therapist anyways yeah so what else was i trying to say Yeah, that's all. Check it later. Myself, what a wonderful world. We're learning. See babies cry. No, I'm talking about the next one after the first one. The first verse. <laughs> <laughs> That, that second one, I see stars. It's so funny how I look like a bum, but watch out for me in a few hours. You ain't gonna yeah, even be. No, you, you look good. Your hair is late. I don't even know how you're keeping it that way. Yeah, my whole sing by Cynthia. I just love this. I'll be a free promo. I don't know. You, you're look, you never to be caught on fresh. Today, well, I'm going to sing a song for you guys. It's called What a Wonderful World. You made my news, I'm sure. I see trees of green. Their love is too. I see the blue for me and you. Into myself. Into my world. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. It's your baby mama. It's your baby mama. <laughs> this lighting is not my puppy. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> it was 70 years. So Esther! Esther! Please come now. We made it to church. See my honey? And I look back at it. Verses one to twenty-one. Romans twelve one to twenty-one. I beseech you. 
F4, brethren, by the and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God tells to every man the measure of things. My friend Harcourt came to see me in the house. Harcourt left the room briefly to talk with the former. Oh, make sure you fly him out. Harcourt came back a few minutes later. I said, Good boy, you come? I'm sleeping in and out of memory. I was flown abroad, underwent great searching for what Akubenza uh, said, soft arachnoid aneurysm. <laughs> the grammar of uh, medicine. And they said, they had the neurosurgeon said they would either open my brain or go through my femoral artery to do a surgical op operation in my brain. And then their friend, Professor Rodin Zemabo, came to visit. He stood behind me and was holding my head. So, CJ, I thought you said you underwent brain surgery. He was looking for the scar. He didn't know that he went through my femoral artery to get to the brain. Deliverance. Unmerited favor from God. Amen. Unmerited favor from God. And all of you know, I had COVID twice. COVID-19, that was a killer. For 15 days, I was isolated. The governor insisted. That is uh, governor. Yes, you will see you in. Don't tell me about uh, isolating at home. Don't tell me about giving him oxygen at home. Take him to the isolation center. And there I was. 15 days later, I was declared COVID free. The next year, I had COVID the first time. This time they said, is, uh, is it American or American virus? <laughs> I survived that one. And look at me, 70 plus two days. <laughs> plus two days. Uh, William Park and I, we talked about you, Your Excellency, about how William was one of your acolytes. William Park and I celebrated together to cut his cake on Thursday. Today is my day. So I want to say a big thank you to God. A big thank you to my wife and to my children who managed to me, who tolerated me, born all my idiosyncrasies, and they have been. I was boasting three years ago that I've stopped paying school fees. The last of my children, Akubese, has a master's degree in law. Her elder sister, Nenda, a master's degree in law. And their immediate elder brother, Dr. Oro Ru, Obasi Anthony Okocha, has a doctor of philosophy degree in law. And their eldest brother, Ogunda, the rebel who refused to read law. <laughs> has a master's degree in project management mm -hmm. and a second master's degree in human resource management. They are both to help me get along in this my profession. Can I forget my dear friends? I call to do it. Me and David West, they mentioned you yesterday that you paid one musician a lot of money. Please, my own musician has not been paid. <laughs> you have used your family, yourself, your friends, and other well wishers to give a very facelift to this church. Right from the time immemorial. But here, the church cannot appreciate you enough. But with testimony you've just given, I think God 
is involved in all that will be happening around you. On that note, by the kind permission of our Lord Bishop, we want to present this little gift. It will be presented by His Lordship Himself. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So I sent this from the church. Lord, this was the God of my job blessed. And they celebrate today, King of Glory. They shall continue to celebrate life. May no sickness be comfortable in their family. May no untimely death come near their dwelling. The Lord they shall live to see their children and children children. I decree, O God, on behalf of the church, the Lord their children shall not go astray. And all CJ and the wife will not bury any of their children. Lord Almighty, they will see their children grow and they shall rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may nothing exchange their glory. May nothing shorten their lives. The Father, you shall strengthen their destinies. You will give them greater friends. All the relationship of God they have acquired in this life, they shall be sustained by your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, lead them higher and higher. From one level of grace to another. May they never go down in hell. May they be sustained and preserved by the blood of Jesus. Bring them under your divine covering that Lord, no we perform against them shall prosper. And they continue to serve you with their resources. Lord Almighty, may you preserve them. May you make them a light. May you make them be salt. May their glory shine. May your light shine upon their path. May they never stumble at the gate of success. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. And say, Father, they shall live long. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. That you offer your bodies as what? You present your bodies as living sacrifices. But New Living Translation says, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice. The kind he will find acceptable. He will give you life. A man who offers himself to God, he will give you life.
And to grow old is a gift. And we thank God to cause observed. No be way keeping with this. <laughs> it is a day to make merry. Yes, sir. And it is OCJ's day. I have not done this for a long time. His 50th, I was there. His 60th, I was there. And his 70th, I am here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where did your Lord was cruel? See fight who died to save us all. We may we can we can what face what face he had to bear. <laughs> Stretch your hands, support your dad and your mom. A home with many years of culture living in OCG's home. A home filled with love. Christ as the head of the family. We will spell. L O V E, which is love. And after that, you know what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us, Mr. Chairman. Please, can you join us? Let us spell love. Let's go. L O V E. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't rush love. Don't rush love. Don't rush love. Let's take it easy. Make love to love. Let's go. L O V E. E. e love let's go to
Shall we praise by uh, point our hands towards OCJ Aww. and pray for him and his family and his children and grandchildren that God will continue to bless him and as he has become 70, may he continue to 80 to Amen. 90 to 100 Amen. in Jesus' name. So with the, all the privileges, appointments and that. rights that are for people who are over 70. You have become 30, 40s and 60s. And for today on, you are a man of wisdom in Jesus' name. <laughs> Oh, my God.
celebration shall also never depart from you. Amen. We thank you for the love that you have shown us. And I pray that that same love will be reciprocated to you all. Amen. As God has brought you here safely, God will also take you back home safely. Amen. Once again, on behalf of myself and my siblings, our wives, you will come here My uh, co-pastor said we should call her offering. Well, once again, thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, and may you all go home safely. Thank you and God bless you. Now we out. <laughs> Good day, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome to you on this album. I shall be shortly departing for Lagos. For safety reasons, please store all your carry on baggage in the overhead lockers, placing heavy items in the descent in front of you. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wings.